consider the function f of x equals x cubed minus 9x squared plus 24x minus 10 on the interval, the closed interval from 1 to 5. So it includes 1 and it includes 5. We need to find the maximum value, capital M, on f on the interval, the closed interval, from 1 to 5, and the values x, capital M, within the closed interval 1 to 5, such that f of x, capital M, equals m. And we also need to find the minimum value, little m, lowercase m, on f, which is on the closed interval from 1 to 5, and the values x, lowercase m, which is somewhere in the closed interval 1 to 5, such that f of x lowercase m equals m. So this sounds extremely complicated, but basically all we need to do is find um, in this interval, find the, the maximum value, that means a global maximum, not necessarily a local maximum, and then find the x that makes that maximum happen. So find the maximum value of y, and then the corresponding x value that makes that y a maximum, and then we need to do the same for the minimum, right? So um, this function, it's a nice cubic function. There's no um, fraction bits in there. There's, it's defined for all real x, means it, which means it must be bounded on the interval. So f of x is continuous uh, for all real x, just a nice simple cubic. Therefore, f of x is bounded. Bounded on this interval. And the interval we're interested in is from 1 to 5. When I say bounded, it means it's um, trapped between a maximum and a minimum value. It's, there's no point where it's going up to the moon, up to infinity, or down to minus infinity. Okay, so it would probably be a good idea to have a look at this. So you, you can probably, you could do this whole question without a calculator, but it's a calculator paper. It's always going to be, you should have a look at the graph. It really will help. It, even if, even a simple graph like that, just think about time. Time's really precious in this exam. You've got not a lot of time to do quite a few questions. So anything you can save, um, you should do. And if you think about it, the amount of credit you're going to get for what is actually very simple calculus is going to be minimal. So something like this, you can save a lot of time by using a graph. So x cubed uh, minus 9x squared uh, plus 24x and minus 10. Okay, that's the function. Draw, it's clearly the wrong window, so go and look at your view window. X min, we want to be um, 1, so that's okay. X, that's not very good. X max, we want to be uh, 5. Uh, y min, well, we don't really know about these, so I'm going to stick with my minus 20 and plus 20 and see how it looks. If it doesn't look very good, I will change it. Probably it's a little bit flat, so I think I will change it a bit. So let's shrink it slightly. So let's go maybe minus 15 and 15. In fact, there wasn't much going on positive. I might change the negative bit, so maybe minus 5 and 15. Okay, so we'll have a look at that. And you can actually see, I could have lost a lot more space underneath, but you get the idea. So this function here, the way it exists is, is off to the left of the screen a little bit. Um, we will draw the thing. So y-axis over here, and then there's the x-axis. And you can see this cubic thing. You've got a sort of value over here when x equal 1 and 5 and it sort of starts off down here, bit of a wobble up to a maximum, down to a minimum, and up again. Right? So, that's f of x. Remember, we, it's a closed interval, so we do include f of 5 and f of 1. 
So we need to know what's the maximum value and what's the minimum value. So the minimum value is either going to be um, this y value here or here. So we could, it depends really if you're asked to show that or not. If you're not asked to show that, you might as well use the calculator functions. If you were, then you'd have to um, take f of x, isn't that very nice cubic, differentiate, um, set it equal to zero, that would be where you can find stationary points, and then you would um, then you would solve for that, then you would find two stationary points, and then you would need to decide if they were a maximum or a minimum, um, and you would do that either by with a sine diagram with the first derivative or using the second derivative test. If it's positive, it's a minimum, negative, it's a maximum, and so on. And then you would actually find the y value at those points by substituting. Right? You would also then need to test the f end points by finding, well, when x is 1, what is x cubed minus 9x squared plus 24x minus 10? And the same for 5. So that would take you a while, but it's not very difficult. So what I'm going to do is just use the calculator function. So shift uh, G solve, and I'm going to look for the minimum. And you see I've gone to this local minimum here, and I'm going to write that down. That's the point at 4, 6. Then I want to go to this maximum up here. So shift G solve, let's have a look at the maximum. And that's at 2, 10. We have, we're interested in this global here. Remember, this is f of 1. So you can go trace, shift trace, and just put in 1, x value of 1. And then it's telling me that y is 6. So this is the point 1, 6. And then I also want to know f of 5. So I'm just going to put in 5. And that's telling me y is 10. So 5, 10. Right, so the question said, find the maximum value m of um, f, so m, m, the maximum value is, um, well, it's 10, which happens at both places, m equals 10, and find x, which is on this interval, such that um, f of x, m, is 10. Well, actually, you've got two choices, whether x could be 2 or 5. So x, m, okay, for b, it's actually, you've also got two choices to make that. You can see the minimum value is 6, so little m equals 6, and the x's that make that true, well, it happens when x is 1, or when x is 4. That's all. All I'm going to do for that question, like I say, you could have done gone down this sort of longhand calculus route, but it's really, I don't think it's difficult enough for, for option level to get a lot of credit anyway. You, you certainly will have to do the longhand calculus when you're asked to show that. If you are not, then I would probably avoid it.